The following is an ESG on location video. So just a few days ago in Vegas, it was the welterweight boxing that had everyone's attention, but now we've got 10, 12,000 people here for EMC World 2015, the heavyweight of the storage industry. Now, EMC, the, uh, the code name, the theme, if you like, is Redefine Next, which you see all over the place. I want to be clear, everything here is about transition, the market, the company, the products. Redefine Next is not a static idea. I don't think we just redefine and we end up somewhere else. It's about the next level of redefinition. Let's hear from some of my colleagues on what they noticed most at this EMC. So I think the big win for EMC customers today was the clear vision that the Federation is unified, they're strengthening the connective tissue between the value of each element and member of the Federation, and there's going to be a real opportunity over the next two to three years for customers to get better value easier, and as Joe Tucci described, with less friction. So that's the big takeaway, obviously, if you're an EMC client and want to leverage more of the portfolio. There is a partner element to that, and clearly EMC sees the opportunity to partner with not their existing partners alone, but also a new set of partners. And so the transformative aspects that they're bringing into their portfolio is only going to make it a bigger opportunity for most of the EMC customers of today that want to make that transformation with them, as well as the new set of partners that they plan on bringing into the fold. My big takeaway from EMC's Global Partner Summit over the last couple of days was EMC's new commitment to allowing partners to take full advantage of the federation of companies and sell across the federation. It's going to take some hard work and behavior changes both on EMC's part and on the partner's part as well to sell complete solutions using all of the technologies and all of the products. There are a couple of things that need to happen to make this a reality. Um, there needs to be a behavior change in EMC's field sales and their engagement and their processes and also changes in their global partner programs to motivate those changes of behavior in the partners to sell business outcomes, including all of the solutions. One of the takeaways uh, that I personally found interesting is the fact that EMC continues to do a great job of integrating their acquisitions. So let's take Scale.io. Scale.io was acquired by EMC two years ago, and at EMC World 2015, they announced that Scale.io will be available as a solution from the VCE company as a technology called VX Rack. Organizations now can deploy a VX Rack alongside a V Block on the high end or V Specs Blue at a departmental level. And essentially, VX Rack is going to be there for tier two data center workloads, next generation data center applications like big data, social media, web scale type applications. Uh, and the reason this is important is that EMC continues to message transformation. And part of that transformation theme involves the Federation, which is the EMC group of companies comprised of EMC, VMware, and Pivotal. As Joe Tucci alluded to, trying to smooth out the seams across these three organizations has been very challenging, uh, but he assures us that they've made significant progress. Uh, EMC has demonstrated this ability to integrate technology companies very effectively, add value to their customers, and show them that transformation is possible. Sometimes amidst all the smoke and lights and loud music at EMC World, it's hard to find where some of the real bits of news are coming from. And the theme here is powering the information generation, and that's really powered by this, the mobile device. So I keep an eye on things that affect mobility, and here that means simplicity. So the news from Simplicity this week is their integration with uh, Outlook, and they're doing some really cool things with Outlook. Allowing people to work the way they're used to with their email systems by just clicking on an attachment and automatically sending a link if it's too big a file for your email system. They're doing some other really cool things, so what, what excites me here is the direction that Simplicity continues to take to power the information generation and make me more productive on my mobile devices. EMC's story is about reinvention, but it's not just reinvention of technology, it's reinvention of how that technology is delivered and consumed. With 
new announcements around using Scale I.O. in a converged infrastructure for VX Rack with free versions of Scale I.O. and open source versions of Viper for, called Copperhead. EMC is finding new ways to not only provide technology, but deliver it to organizations that demand a faster and more flexible way of consuming that technology. So how do we summarize all this? There's a lot of change going on. Tucci in his main address talked about living in interesting times, and clearly that is. There's transitions of the company itself. Uh, many times we heard phrases, you know, fill in the blank at the end. This is not your father's VMAX. You now see EMC embracing, or at least beginning to contemplate and begin to use open sourcing. We saw transitional products like the VX rack, which takes the best of, if you like, modern software definition with a traditional hardware, puts the two together. So you've got transitional ways for users to embrace this new way of doing business. You, you hear phrases like, think globally, act locally. This was, think like an innovative startup, but act like a traditional enterprise vendor. That's what EMC is trying to do, and that's a delicate, interesting, compelling transition to watch over the next few years.